that time of the year, man. Okay. This is not an ad for no nah, trolling. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Okay. We're about to see. Listen, IRS, I look, whatever said in this video ain't got nothing to do with me. Okay. We're just seeing what they got to say about you helping criminals for money. It might be clickbait. Who knows? Let's Nothing in this video is tax <laughs> advice. It's mostly just Facts? me getting okay. upset. Let's see. Let's, let's see what he's chatting about. <laughs> this video is brought to you by Steelhead Outdoors. They're the ones that make my gun safe. They make all their stuff right here in America, Minnesota to be exact. To the best of my knowledge, they're the only ones making modular gun safes. This safe comes apart into a top, a bottom, a door, and three sides. Obviously, it can only be taken apart from the inside, but this means that you and one buddy can take apart your safe and move it if you ever need to. Okay. You don't need to hire a special company with fancy equipment, and it's way safer for everybody. They also make the best lock boxes on the market. Most mm. lock boxes are made out of very thin metal, borderline tin foil, and this thing is made out of 12 gauge steel, which is the same steel that most gun safes are made out of. This thing weighs nine pounds. So if you want to check them out, I'll have them linked down below. Let's Hold up, is that considered heavy for that or is that light? I don't know. You gotta tell me. Video. Okay, all I wanted to know was why is it that every year when I have to go do my taxes, why doesn't the IRS just send me a bill for how much money they think I owe them? Okay, if you're not an American or you're too young to do your taxes or you do do your taxes True. and you just don't really pay attention to what's going on, I'll explain. When World War II was kicking off, the American government needed more money, so they went to every employer in the country and said, hey, you have to tell us how much money you pay all of your employees. So now the IRS knows how much every single person in America makes every year. Mm. Because of that, the IRS now knows how much money every single person owes them at the end of the year okay so now that we're on the same page that the okay. irs knows how much money each person owes them why doesn't the irs just send you a bill every year because in america they don't they don't send you a bill you have to go to a tax professional or you have to use but i think that's because you have to pay people to keep track some software basically of what's going on everything was digital but everybody's not comfortable with everything being digital so you always have to have some people feel like they're comfortable with a human layer to make sure things some people are like yo i don't know you have to pay so pay like upwards of 200 dollars to have somebody or some program do your taxes which is a fancy way of saying and i think that's like some people are going to pick somebody some people are going to pick something okay and you kind of that like, pro I, I guess that's why is always going to exist Graham or that person has to figure out how much money you owe the IRS, even though the IRS already fucking knows that. Okay. Do you understand the gravity of what I've just told you? Because whether you realize it or not, this is a conversation that every American has with the IRS every single year. Hey, it's tax season. Pay me. Uh, all right. How much do I owe you? That's the fun part. How much do you owe me? Like, you don't know how much money I owe you? Oh no, I'm, I know exactly how much money you owe me to the cent. Okay, so then why don't you tell me and I'll just pay you? Uh, because fuck you, that's why. Okay, well, if you're not gonna tell me how much money I owe you, I'm just not gonna pay you. Oh, well, that's not really an option because if you don't pay me, I'm gonna throw your ass in prison. Oh, well, don't want that. Okay, um, what if I overpay you? Uh, well, then I'm gonna keep all the extra money and not really tell you about it. Okay, and what if I underpay you? Uh, well, that depends. If you underpay me a little bit, I'll just financially penalize you. If you underpay me a lot, I'll also throw your ass in prison. Um, okay, I guess. Yeah, I know. I can hear the keyboard warriors already. <laughs> Buh, you're so stupid. The reason the IRS does that is because the IRS doesn't know if you're going to claim any deductions or not. Buh. Okay, that's a bullshit ass excuse. Mm. If you know nothing about taxes, you can do your taxes one of two ways. There's the standard deduction, or you can do an itemized return. Yep. The standard deduction is just the normal amount that the IRS assumes every single person in America has that's not taxable income. In 2023, it's $13,850. The IRS just assumes you have that much in write-offs. But if you have significantly more oh, wow. than that in tax write-offs, you can then do an itemized return. And in that case, you have to write down every single tax deduction that you have and turn that into the IRS. And then you can get a higher deduction on your- Hey taxes okay here's the kicker with that 87 percent of americans do the standard deduction that means the irs could literally send every american a bill at the end of the year and yep. it could say hey here's how much money you owe us in taxes assuming that you're getting the standard deduction which again is 87 percent of people and you can just have a little check mark box that says Yes, I agree to this and you can mail them a check or they can have a little fill in the blank where you give them your bank account information and then they just send you your tax return. Or you could hit, mm -hmm. no, I don't agree with this because I have more write-offs, AKA 13% of the population. <laughs> and then those 13% of people can go and have a tax professional prepare your itemized return. And mm. then you could do your taxes that way. Literally for 87% of the country, tax season can be over and done with just as fast as you pay a power bill. But no, instead you have to get all your paperwork together. You have to go but then that's like when does 
when does things become your business? Because there's certain thing, pe- there's certain deductions for people, then there's certain deductions for businesses, right? Schedule an appointment with a tax professional, turn it into an all day event to go get. But that's your- why, like, if I if I buy a camera and this is my job, then there's write-offs. But if I buy a camera because I'm collecting, I don't know, like sometimes that may count for something else. I don't know. But that's why you, there's people who are going to professionally tell you what you need because the system, I, I guess it could give you a range, but what if I don't consider that business? Or what if I do consider this business? Like, then the system will have to um, account for that. Your tax is done, or you have to spend hours- So on, then people would be like, oh, it's too- it's On hours, desperately trying to figure out how to do it yourself with some online right, program. So. And it's a giant waste of absolutely everybody's time. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, that makes sense. Why on earth doesn't the IRS just do that? And obviously it's because they make more money doing it this way. Okay, everybody's talking about AI, artificial intelligence and how scary it is. I'm convinced that AI has been around forever. And the first AI ever invented was bureaucracy. Okay, the minute you get more (laughs) than like 10 people in a group and you give them one goal and tell them that's their only job and that none of them are individually responsible for their actions, everything's gonna go completely off the rails, okay? The IRS lets this happen because guess what? The tax filing industry in the United States is $11 billion a year. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say that a little bit slower. Americans pay $11 billion a year to seek help from professionals to find out some shit the government already fucking knows. But because they are- I mean, but like, that's like information thing, right? Because there's some people who spend like, like uh, $8 for a piece of cheese. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm talking, listen. I've had quality cheese. It's life changing. Okay. I, I'm a charcuterie warrior. <laughs> but like, that's what they choose to spend their money on. I don't know. The press only cares about making more money. The only thing the IRS comprehends is that's 11 billion more dollars that they get to tax. So it's in their benefit mm. to keep it this way. It is the most insane and corrupt shit on the planet. Buh! Well, it wouldn't be fair to the other 13% if they were the only ones that had a difficult tax season. Buh! Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Okay, just so we're on the same page. If this went into effect tomorrow, I would be in that 13 But do you know how like, if everything was digital, and there were no professionals, what if something went wrong? Or what if they just changed the numbers? Like, at least there's somewhere with somebody you can go to prove, like, these people are responsible for what this looked like. You know what I'm saying? Percent that was still but that's why people have like certifications and stuff like that an itemized deduction i can still appreciate the government trying to make life and tax season easier for 87 percent of people i don't give a fuck if it's fair to me okay because mm. anybody in that 13 percent that's doing an itemized deduction including me knows how to game the system so they can make even more money don't don't fucking worry about them. Okay, I mean, for example, look at my couch, okay? Everybody jokes it's a casting couch. That's not a casting couch. That's my tax write-off couch. Yep. <laughs> Yo, he's cooking right now. He's cooking. If you watch my videos, sometimes there's just random shit sitting on that couch. It's not because I wanted random shit to be on my couch in that particular video. It's because whatever's on that couch becomes part of the scene of my video. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we're about to start cooking. (laughs) We're about to start cooking. It's it's a tax write-off because I make money from making YouTube videos, okay? So I get to write that shit off. You write it off. Who writes it off? I don't know. The government, the write-off people. (laughs) My point being, everybody in that 13% knows how to play the game. Don't feel bad for them. Everybody's worried about artificial intelligence taking over, but it already has because the first artificial intelligence was bureaucracy and it's already taken over the entire world and it's corrupt as fuck. I mean, think about it. Bureaucracy is a nameless, soulless entity that is given a single task at its inception and then does whatever it can to accomplish that task. 
That is borderline the definition of AI. And if you wanted proof that the IRS is mm. absolutely corrupt and only cares about collecting as much money as possible, all we have to do is read their own handbook. Can't watch this. Let's pull up publication 525 for the oh, year of 2023 taxable and non-taxable income. Okay, this is basically just what you can claim as deductions, what you can't, how you go about doing it in every different type of situation that you could possibly come up with over the course of like 50 pages. Okay, now if I could bring your attention over to page 37 under the article that says Let's stolen see. property. Quote, if you steal property, you must report its FMV, fair market value, in your income in the year that you steal it, unless in the same year you return it to its rightful owner. Yeah, translation, what? they don't care if you steal shit for a living. As long as they get their cut, they don't care. This isn't a just and right entity. This is literally a- Hey, hey, hey listen, we just trying to keep track of the money, man, all right? Mafia <laughs> boss. Business bad? Fuck you, pay me. Oh, you had a fire? Fuck you, pay me. Oh, don't worry, it keeps going. Uh, page number 32, under bribes. Quote, if you receive a bribe included in your income, and I know what you're thinking, Come what if there's now. illegal activity, but it's not necessarily stealing and it's not necessarily a bribe. Oh, well, they put a catch all on page 35. Oh, there it is right between reporting taxable payments and Indian fishing rights, uh, illegal activities. And I quote, income from illegal activities such as from dealing illegal drugs Come on, must be included in your income on a schedule one form 1040 line 8z or on a schedule c form 1040 if from self-employment activity and i know what you're thinking because you're a sane rational person and i thought this the same crazy. exact thing clearly this is just a clever ploy to try to catch criminals right yes and if i don't pay up i'll go to jail for tax evasion. hey listen they're like Hey, the Joker, the Joker might be the GOAT character of all time. I'm thinking about it. Uh, you know, Thanos came through. You know what I'm saying? He did his thing, okay? Uh, captivated a lot of people as a villain. You know, Sifroth back in the day, banger. You know what I'm saying? But it might be the Joker, bro. It might be it, the Joker. I'm crazy. Greatest villain of all time take on batman but the irs no thank you wrong i've octuple checked the irs has no legal obligation to report illegal i mean okay the only reason it makes sense is because like these people are gonna move this money anyway so let's keep track of it you know because they're gonna want to have to like buy a house or something like we need to make sure they got the income to let the banks know but how they got it ah Y'all got to figure that out. That's what the IRS said. Well, activities to any type of authority other than itself. And remember, because the IRS is basically an artificial intelligence whose sole purpose is to collect as much money as possible, it doesn't benefit from reporting criminals as long as those criminals are willing to pay taxes. Okay, and I can prove this on a Amen. large scale because marijuana, cannabis in the United States is illegal on a federal level. I understand that it's legal or decriminalized in some states, mm. but it's still illegal federally, meaning that the DEA, a federal law enforcement agency, could roll into your fully state legal cannabis dispensary and arrest all of you. Okay, and this has already been settled by the Supreme Court in Gonzalez versus Reich in 2005 when the DEA did just that in California. So knowing that growing and distributing cannabis is illegal, the IRS has decided that they're going to report all of it to the federal government. No, I'm just kidding. They decided they were going to come <laughs> up with their own special document. It's called a 280E and it basically says, hey, what you're doing is illegal on a federal level. We know it's illegal. So okay. here's what we're going to do. We're going to charge you double the taxes and you're not going to be allowed to take any tax write-offs and by the time it's all said and done the entire cannabis industry pays about three and a half times the taxes of any other industry all because the irs knows that they can get away with it because they know that that shit's illegal on a federal level because the irs just wants to make more money i cannot tell you over the course of my life how many times i've heard somebody express yo the irs is they're, they're hey. that's the general sentiment along the line the real GTA, okay? Of, man, I wish they taught me useful stuff in high school, like how to do my taxes or balance a checkbook, but instead, I know the Pythagorean theorem. And I'm be honest, at this point, I'm convinced that they don't teach this in school because if they did, people would know about it. And if people knew about this, nobody would put up with this bullshit. Okay, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I need a beer. I'm losing my mind. Um, I guess in conclusion, everybody's worried about artificial intelligence taking over the world. And in their head, they're picturing something like the movie Terminator with Skynet and robots trying to kill everybody. Mm -hmm. But in reality, AI has already taken over the world. It's called bureaucracy, and it's not trying to kill everybody. It's just trying to milk society dry of its time and its money so that it can just preserve itself, even though it no longer even needs to exist. Thanks for watching. Mm. Best way to support the channel is go buy some merch over at thefatelectrician.com.
Like, I don't know. How do I feel about it? I don't. Um, I'm going to pay But I think that's why you have to pay attention to your town halls and all of that. Because that way, you know, like, okay, this is the tax code that they're passing through. Because somebody somewhere is going to be trying to make money off of something. Would you rather it be somebody that you, I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's a metaphor for me. All right. And an analogy is right there. Okay. And when I get it, I'm going to let you know. But I don't know. I, I don't know. Because everywhere, like even the way people talk about things are different. A vehicle to somebody may not be a vehicle to somebody else. So how do we count that? You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to pay attention to the taxes where you're at. And, you know, on a larger level too. But I don't know, man. IRS. <laughs> I don't want no smoke, bro.